Hey, I'm Benjamin Sandoval. I'm Sajan Essar. And I'm Gerardo. The world we live in is a complex one. So many elements and principles go into creating the world we see and interact with. Take air for an example. This invisible force, once carrying ships across oceans, now holds planes in the sky. Blowing like a current, it has the power to lift kites into the sky and can even be powerful enough to rip houses from their foundation. But the power of air isn't just limited to nature and the sky. It can also be applied through clever engineering to the items we use every day. These household items include things like drones, uh, vacuum cleaners for picking up messes, of course, the fan for hot days, and not just for cooling yourself down, but even we have fans for the computers. And the air would just come out of these vents on the sides. One interesting application of an air machine is the hovercraft. And hovercraft is an envious vehicle that is capable of traveling over land and water through the cushion of air. In the most basic description, it achieves this by using a motor to push air underneath the hull, creating an area of high pressure under the craft opposed to the relative low ambient air around it, creating lift, similar to an aircraft wing. Speaking of hovercraft, I can actually show you one right now. This is a hovercraft. As you can see, the hull is flat opposed to normal boats because it has this black rubber skirt that holds the air underneath the craft so that the air can uh, escape underneath the bottom of the skirt, cre creating that cushion of air that allows it to float over land and sea. <laughs> For our activity, uh, we're going to create a similar type of application, but obviously in a more kid-friendly manner. So we're going to use CD as a hull and a balloon uh, as a motor in order to in order to create a similar prototype to a hovercraft, by which can kids use to learn the concept. Let's take it inside to show you how what we mean. All right, let's go. Now we walk. Hey, we're inside now and this is our project. It just takes three simple materials. It takes a CD, which will be our hull. It takes a flip-up bottle cap, which you can find on any generic hand sanitizer bottle, and it takes a balloon, which will be our engine. <laughs> all right, now in, all the air in the balloon will have to go through the center of the disc in order to create that high pressure on the bottom of the disc so it can glide across, but we need a way to attach it. So in order to attach it, we're gonna hot glue these lids onto the, over the center of the hole. Now, my uh, assistant Sujan will now hot glue it to the CD. Now, we know that hot glue is obviously uh, pretty dangerous to have around a little kids. So we're not going to allow little kids to use the hot glue gun. It will be us operating the hot glue gun. Yep, and we got to make sure <clears throat> that it's sealed airtight. So, no, so all of the air from the balloon will be going straight through the center of the CD and not escaping through any other. And we're just going to let that dry and we're going to show you one of our previous designs. This one is using a, a, a regular bottle cap that we just poked holes into, but it would, be, it would be good as our demonstration. Okay, now that we got the balloon all set up, it's on top of the bottle cap and all that air is just going to go through the bottom. And uh, it's just going to glide along the table. Yeah. So now we know, uh, this should be relatively dry now. So what we have to do is we have to take this lid off because this lid is going to get in our way. Just tear that right off. 
And then we're gonna have to blow up another balloon. First stretch it out though, yeah. <clears throat> well, yeah, and uh, due to COVID, obviously we can't be having, uh, we can't ha be having people blowing up their own balloons, so we're gonna be using an electric motor. So yeah, let me just, we gotta get that over the top. And there we go. They can just keep reusing the balloon and the CD as much as they like. Yeah. And it just glides along the table. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And uh, oh, and obviously we're gonna have uh, some uh, markers available. We're gonna have some craft supplies so they can, you know, they can customize their CD. And because of the cheap nature of just having these three materials, uh, we are hoping that we get enough so we can send each kid home with their own little uh, CD. Let me guys show you an uh, example. Like you can put your name on it, or you can put like, or you can put photos, pictures, or anything, you, or any, anything the kids really want, and they can like just decorate it to their like to their own feelings and thoughts. So they can it can be creative in its own way. Alright. So this activity we teach creativity and also uh, we also teach science in a way. So I think this this activity will be very suited for this Eastern Expo. The world around us is a complex one, but the more we understand it, the more creative inventions we can create. This project hopes to expand the scope of how simple science and a little engineering can turn household items into a fun and creative science project. Igniting eyes to search, around, search out the science around them and the passion to take, use it to their advantage. Well, that was our project idea, and we hope to see you at the Science Expo. What's so funny? What's so... Oh, wait. Is that good? I feel like I stuttered. In oh, wait, how are we introducing us? I'm saying, hi, I'm Benjamin. I'm Sue Young, and Jim is Giorno. Is that how we're going? <laughs> yeah, but then you have the script in the frame. <laughs> you have it like, oh, I'm holding up the script in the boat. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Why were you holding on to me? Cause hey, I'm Benjamin Sandoval. I'm Sujin Sar. Yeah, I said. You have to introduce yourself, yourself, Gerardo. Me? Oh, okay. Oh, my. I I'm Gerardo behind the camera. No, don't show yourself. Don't show okay. yourself. <laughs>